Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I have a great video lined up for you today. I'm going to share with you my kitchen dining room table makeover. I'm going to show you how I refinished my kitchen table. Make sure you hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So we're going to take the kitchen table out into the garage. We're going to sand it, we're going to stain it, and then we're going to put a couple coats of polyurethane on it. Would you ever consider restaining your kitchen table? Or would you just replace it? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So here my husband is putting the sander together so we can get started sanding up with a 220 grit sandpaper for a light sanding. We're not trying to take it down to bare wood. We're just taking the sheen. It's a semi-gloss sheen off the top of the table and restain it. I've got the leaf here in the center. We're going to uh, stain that as well. As you can see, it's, it's worn. I've had this table for quite a while. This is probably the last step prior to replacing it. It's a beautiful uh, mahogany colored table, but we're going to change it to a Kona table because I recently changed the chairs on this table. So I am going to match the actual table to the chairs. As you can see, this scratch here just happened today. That hurts, but we're going to sand that out. But it's worn. It's seen a lot of meals and a lot of DIY projects and a lot of homework. We're just gonna refresh this kitchen table and make it look nice, make it match the new chairs. So we put a drop cloth down and we raise the table up on some um, old paint cans because I think it'll be just a little easier to get to the legs this way. on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. Okay, so we've got all the sanding done. So let's get ready to stain. I'm going to do a second polyurethane coat with no stain, just for added protection when you sit something hot on the table or a drinking glass, which we do often. So the first coat is complete we're going to let it dry and then we're going to come back and hit it with a second coat and then we're going to do a polyurethane on top of that. So one down, two to go. Okay guys, this is day two. We've got two coats of Kona colored stain and uh, it's looking fantastic. I love the way it looks. It took very well. 
we're going to add a coat of clear water-based polyurethane. I really like the way it came out. It's very pretty. We did just a few touch-up areas and added our first coat of polyurethane. It is a clear water-based polyurethane. You're able to put on a coat every 30 minutes. This is coat number one. We are thinking we're going to do about three or four coats. We'll see, because the actual stain had polyurethane in it as well. So we may end up just doing maybe three. We'll see. It's looking good. Okay guys, so this is it. We've done our final sanding and this is our fourth coat. This is our final coat and uh, so far, so good. Despite a few hiccups along the way, it has turned out really well and I'm very happy that we did it. I really like the way this table turned out. I think it's beautiful. There will definitely be a sense of pride along with any meal that I sit down and eat here. If you enjoyed it too, let me know. Leave me a comment. As I said earlier, would you consider restaining your table or would you just replace it? I'd like to know, leave me a comment. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the videos at the end to see more home decor videos by Creative Glam. I also have other videos linked in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check them out too. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.